even though the normal typical path is people learn to code, they try to set up a portfolio, then they don't set up a portfolio because they don't feel comfortable and it goes many, many years and some people just don't ever do it and never get a job and I don't want you to do that. Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. In this video, I wanna show you where should you start if you're looking to start building your portfolio, especially if you're a beginner. Now, if you've been spinning your wheels, trying to figure out how to get hired, I wanna start a little series where I'm gonna talk about how to get a web development job without a degree, because that's kind of where I was. I didn't have any degree, I self-taught, and I've been doing this stuff on my own, and eventually I got hired. But the truth is, it's not an easy journey, and you have to be able to put in the work. So in this video, number one, I'm gonna show you and share with you the community project that we built on our Slack channel with some of my students. We also going to do that same project in the discord so if you want to join our discord check out below and i'm also going to show you why you shouldn't wait to start putting out a portfolio website even though you might not have any portfolios because you want to get into the swing of things that you're not going to wait until you're ready to get a job but start putting stuff out there the energy out there that you're looking to get hired with that being said my name is paul and on this channel i talk about switching careers into web development late in life so if this is something that interests you consider subscribing Let's jump into the computer and I'll show you the project that we're working on. Hey guys, in this video, I just want to give you a brief introduction in the community project we're building. We're not gonna go into too much detail, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what you should expect. Here's the website we are going to build for our community project. And the first step is just to make this with HTML and CSS only. The goal is not to come up with your own design, but to use a template that I provide here that you could find on ThemeForest. The idea is that as a web developer, a web designer is going to give you a mockup from which you should be able to recreate the site. To get reference for this theme, look up Mac Portfolio on ThemeForest. Even though you could select whatever design you want, I want you guys to work on this specific one. So this way we could all work on the same project and layout. And this way, if you have questions, it's much easier for me to answer them. We're going to select the dark mode. So here's the website. And the goal for step one is to recreate this basic layout using HTML and CSS. You want to make sure that you make it responsive. So if you do make the screen smaller, everything resizes accordingly. Outside of general CSS and HTML concepts, you should also be familiar with Flexbox and Grid in this project. And this is my version of the site that we're recreating. And remember, the first step is to create this with HTML and CSS first only. Let's take a look at the project folder. When you're starting out, you're literally gonna have index.html, which is gonna be the basic HTML structure of your code. And then you're gonna have your style CSS, where you're going to put all your styling. And that's all you need to do for part one. In the second part of this project, we're going to add JavaScript functionality. But while working on HTML and CSS, don't worry about it. Make sure you focus on getting the layout done first. In terms of the website layout, you just want to get comfortable positioning elements, basic understanding of margins and padding, and how you could use something like Grid or Flexbox to position your elements in a row or in a complex grid like we had in some of these examples. And lastly, you wanna make sure that your website is responsive. So if someone resizes your application, it doesn't have any breaking changes and it looks nice no matter what device you're on. The biggest tip I could give you on this project is that done is better than perfect. So don't worry if it's not 100% the way you wanted it to be. Just make sure that it doesn't have breaking changes, looks presentable, even though the code underneath the hood might not look so clean. And that's normal part of learning. You could always come back and refactor the code, but the visual presentation should look good. So this was a brief introduction to our community project. And remember, if you do have questions, you could always ask them here in the comments on YouTube, in our Slack channel, or join our discord and I'll leave the link in the description below all right so that's what we're doing in our community and there's more to it because the point of this is to go from being able to build a basic HTML and CSS website to being able to build significant apps with react and we have a five-step project that we're gonna build and I'm gonna talk to them in more detail in my later videos but that's where you should start first now here's the cool part here's the fun part now when you're starting out you might not know where to start and a great way to learn about 
about HTML and CSS is actually to take apart somebody else's website. So what I recommend for your very first website is actually instead of building it yourself, buy a cheap HTML theme. You could easily find them on ThemeForce. So let's share screen here so you guys can see. All right, so here's ThemeForce. All you gotta do is literally just type HTML portfolio templates. And the reason why I say HTML portfolio templates because they're $11, $16, probably more expensive, $17. But an average sometimes somewhere between, you know, six to $17, you're going to get an awesome template. And what's cool about this is that it, they're ready to go. Here's some examples that I bought. I bought this because I'm starting another channel where I'm only going to focus on tutorials and I'm going to kind of walk you through the process, how I set up this website from the standpoint of one day teaching online. So this is going to be the theme that I bought. I think it's really cool. This was like 12 bucks. And what's awesome, I have the code and I could see how they did this and I could learn from these examples. Here's another great example, but you could see if you don't know anything, buying a theme like this, going through the process of deploying it at Netlify, being able to make small changes in the HTML and CSS while you're learning is a great way to start when you're starting out because you don't have to build anything from scratch. You have this amazing resource to use. And for my portfolio side, this is actually what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna change the colors. I really like this idea idea of the one page kind of view and layout. And I like how they have this resume section where I could put the projects and my work experience. Then they have a portfolio section, which is pretty awesome. And I like this idea where you have the link to the actual portfolio, or you could click here and it would open up a picture that you could show screenshots of the things that you're working on. So that's kind of cool. I really like that. And you have an area for the blog. By the way, this website is going to be static because this is HTML and CSS. So to add content to this, initially you would literally write it inside the HTML. But well, hey, that's nothing wrong with that. And it's a great way to learn. Best part about this website is that you're now going to have a portfolio right away and you're going to have a way for people to be able to contact you and you could start sharing the things you're working on in this portfolio right from the start. Because the biggest mistake that a lot of people make is that they wait too long before they get to a point where they feel comfortable to start putting their work out there. They keep pushing the can down the street and never getting a portfolio started or getting a website up. You got to put the intention in there and then you have to work really hard to make it happen. So even though the normal typical path is people learn to code, they try to set up a portfolio, then they don't set up a portfolio because they don't feel comfortable and it goes many, many years and some people just don't ever do it and never get a job and I don't want you to do that. So my challenge for you outside of starting the community project that I outlined before, go and find an HTML template buy it and set up your basic portfolio. You could put, if you have nothing to show in your portfolio, at least say coming soon. So at least this way you have a place, a home for your portfolio to live and you could just take it from there. With that being said, that would be the most important part because you're willingly looking to make the best chances possible of getting a job because you're being proactive and that's what it takes. And I'm gonna do more of these videos of how to get hired without a college degree. I think it'll be a great experience for everybody to follow along and do it with me. So we're gonna talk about community projects, you're going to talk about how to deploy your sites, basically anything that's related for you guys to go from zero to hero of getting your first job in this series. So I'm excited to get started on this. And if you haven't started your community project, go do so now. If you haven't started and, and set up a portfolio website, go do that now. That's your two homework assignments. Share with me the deployed link so I could see what you're doing. And I'll keep making these videos to follow along this process. So the next video is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to talk about how to take a static website and and how we can deploy it on Netlify and how you could make edits to it and redeploy. And also I'll show you how to set up a custom domain name so you could use your name. Like for me, I'll probably put it at paulbroslavsky.com and that'll be my domain. Anyway, that's all I want to talk about in these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're getting a lot of value from what it is we do here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel because we do awesome things here. Thank you as always. I'll see you guys next time. Everybody likes it if they see me dance. I'm gonna dance at the end of my videos. And if you don't like me dancing, I don't know what to tell you. This is how professional YouTubers look like. They're pretty crazy, huh? Right? I'm gonna have to make a website. Huh? Show you how it's done. I'm not sure what to do anymore. Oh, is this thing recording? I gotta. What is this? How this works again? Oh, finish.